Welcome to our new YouTube series on advanced load balancing techniques. In this series, we'll explore how to connect to upstream providers and dive into key concepts such as ECMP, PBR, ENT, PCC, DRRP, and bonding. We'll break down each of these technologies step by step, helping you understand how they work and how to set them up in your network environment. In today's video, we'll start with ECMP, or Equal Cost Multipath Routing. I'll show you how to configure multiple paths for redundancy and load balancing, ensuring efficient traffic distribution across your network. Let's get started. ECMP, Equal Cost Multipath, is a routing strategy used in networking that allows multiple paths to be used simultaneously for routing data packets when these paths have the same cost or metric to reach a particular destination. It effectively distributes network traffic across multiple available paths, thereby optimizing bandwidth usage and improving redundancy. Why is ECMP needed? Load balancing, ECMP helps distribute traffic evenly across multiple paths, preventing any single path from becoming overloaded. This ensures efficient use of available bandwidth, redundancy and fault tolerance. If one path fails, ECMP can continue routing traffic through the remaining active paths, increasing network reliability and minimizing downtime. Scalability, by allowing multiple paths to the same destination, ECMP enables the network to handle increased traffic loads without the need for additional infrastructure changes. Improved performance, ECMP reduces latency and improves overall network performance by utilizing multiple paths simultaneously, avoiding bottlenecks and ensuring data reaches its destination more quickly. In simple terms, we have three different internet connections coming into our office router. With the latest version of our Mikrotik router software, it will automatically use all three connections at the same time, balancing the traffic between them. If one of these connections goes down, the router will still ensure that our office computers stay connected to the internet using the other two connections. Enable the DHCP client on the interfaces connected to each upstream provider. This will allow the router to obtain IP addresses dynamically from the DHCP servers of each provider. DNS Setup In the DHCP client settings, enable the option to use DNS servers provided by the upstream providers. This allows the router to resolve domain names into IP addresses, ensuring internet connectivity. NTP Network Time Protocol Set up NTP to synchronize the router's time. You can configure the router to use NTP servers provided by the DHCP servers or specify your preferred NTP servers. This ensures accurate timekeeping for log entries and scheduling. Default route, allow the DHCP client to add a default route from each upstream provider. Mikrotik will handle ECMP, equal cost multipath, routing automatically for load balancing or failover across the three providers. Check the routing table. Access your Mikrotik router's routing table by navigating to IP routes. You should see multiple default routes 0.0.0.0/0 listed, each pointing to one of the three upstream providers. Verify ECMP configuration. The routing table entries should have the same distance and route metrics, indicating that ECMP is in place. This configuration ensures that traffic is balanced across all three upstream providers, allowing the router to utilize all available connections for outgoing traffic. Let's configure our Office LAN network so that the Office PC can obtain an IP address from the DHCP server on the Office Mikrotik. Keep in mind that for our LAN network to access the internet, we need to set up masquerading. We'll configure the SERCnet rule for our local LAN, and for internet access, we'll set all the upstream providers as the outbound interface. This way, if one upstream provider fails, our LAN network will still have internet access through the remaining providers.
Let's go to the Office PC and use the command to obtain an IP address from the Office server. Let's run a ping test to Google to check the connection. Let's arrange Winbox and the PC CLI side by side. Then, we'll disable the upstream providers one by one to see if the PC's internet connection drops. There we have it, the PC's internet connection didn't drop. Now, we've re-enabled all the upstream provider links, and the Mikrotik has re-established them in ECMP mode.